Hey guys, welcome to Riggs Garage. Today we're gonna to be looking at the 93 Honda Civic hatchback that I've had in my fleet for almost four years now. One of the reasons I got into Hondas is because I was driving a 1972 Dodge Charger to college. And that car had a big block 440 that I had built. And it was about 2007 and gas had just gone up to like $4 a gallon. And that car, got single digit gas mileage for sure so I went ahead and grabbed a 1990 Honda Civic and that car was a rust free 119,000 mile um, an EF generation it was red also uh, this one here that I'm driving is an EG generation so this one is built from 1992 to 1995 I wanted to formally introduce the car to the channel for you because I'm going to start working on it. Here we go. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. A couple years ago, uh, somebody at church had this car. They got it from an aunt or a relative down in Texas. Basically, it was in really good shape, had no rust. Usually these are all rusted out everywhere, but it had no rust. And I told him, hey, if you ever want to sell the car, go ahead and um, you know let me know. So they did, about a year later. So I got the car for $1,000 and I put a windshield in it. I made a new air conditioning line and I just started daily driving it because that's uh, it's a great daily driver. However, I did start gathering parts to make it a really fun, zippy, fast, kind of autocross type car. So uh, I'll go into some of those details now. So the exterior of the car is worn, but not complete garbage. Uh, the paint, the paint's done. I'm going to paint it eventually. It does have a few dents, but I'm probably just going to straighten out, straighten out what's here. Um, all the panel gaps are great. A lot of these Civics are really thrashed, crashed, and uh, random panels and stuff that don't really line up. But everything lines up nicely here. I did get this mirror from a junkyard, uh, obviously I didn't paint it. The car's sitting on a set of $100 wheels and tires I got off uh, Facebook Marketplace. The wheels had brand new tires on them, they were off a of Miata, so I grabbed them. And I've been running them for like three years now. I think I've got 30,000 miles on them. Originally the car had 144,000 when I got it. Just a quick look at the interior, the interior is in excellent condition. Carpet's even good. Uh, there's one tear here like every 30 year old car has. Um, I'm gonna have these repaired or I do have a set of EP3 Civic SI seats that I might modify the rails and put in here. Car's got 178,000 miles on it. I do have an EX gauge cluster to put in here that I traded a 12 pack of Pepsi for. Pretty funny deal there. The guy was just uh, at home with a new baby and I was like, I'll bring you your 20 bucks. And he's like, just bring Pepsi, man. So I brought Pepsi and I will have a new gauge cluster to put in here. Um, I'll do a video on that because I'm gonna keep this original speedometer so I can keep my original miles and stuff. So I'll put this speedometer in the EX cluster, put that in here so I'll have a tachometer. Excellent dash, carpet, seats, door panels are great. We'll go ahead and pop the hood here. I'll link to the other video on the mini-me swap, but this is a Mini me swapped engine, so I'll explain that real quick. Just a quick explanation. Watch that video if you want more details. This is a D15 B7 Honda block, so that's the um, that's the stock block and pistons and rods and crank. However, I went ahead and added a D16 Z6 VTEC head to that, so I had this head reworked, put that on there, and then I wired a P28 computer in. Um, that's also another video. Uh, so the P28 computer controls the Honda VTEC that's variable 
valve timing in there. So if you want to see more details on that stuff, go ahead and check out the links. I'll post them above. But this engine is pretty basic. It probably makes 120 horsepower on a great day, not to the wheels. Um, I got these headers off Facebook Marketplace. It does have a Z6 intake as well. Uh, I have a gutted stock airbox, so everything looks nice in factory. Honestly, don't like the look of a lot of aftermarket stuff. Um, BMS racing adjustable cam gear. And then I've got stock engine mounts and stuff. Now I do have a turbo kit that I've been putting together, so I think I'll be doing a video on that pretty soon. Also, I bought another engine block. So I'm gonna put forged pistons and rods in that and probably get some boost. Since this is a daily driver, I went ahead and used a bunch of factory Honda parts because I know they're really good. Uh, this engine's really fun to drive, but it's not fast, but it is zippy. One of the reasons I'm doing this video also is because I'm about to really start work on the car. Um, it's got some real issues. The front tie rods are completely jacked. They click and the steering's very, very, very loose. So I'm gonna dig into that. I also have a set of Yonaka coilovers for all four corners. I have Skunk 2. There's no Skunk 1. Uh, I have Skunk 2 adjustable upper control arms, and I have Prothane bushings for all suspension. So all suspension on this car is getting rebuilt uh, with really good parts, and I'm excited to dig into that. I think I'm gonna tear it apart tomorrow and start filming that. So that's a really basic look at the Civic Project. The goal is to get it probably on an SCCA autocross track for fun. Um, and over the next year, I would like to paint the car and I would like to properly turbo it. I've been gathering parts for the turbo kit for about a year and I wanna use good rods, good pistons and tune it properly from the start so I can make 300 to 400 wheel horsepower. The car weighs like 2000 pounds. So imagine having 300 to 400 wheel horsepower in this. I did also do a video on this exhaust. It was one of my first YouTube videos actually. I needed to pass inspection and this exhaust was like $72 on eBay. So I ordered the exhaust and put that on. So I did an install video and a review of that exhaust. Uh, right now I'm on year like two. Yeah, I think I'm on year two. And uh, it's pretty loud and it does rattle. It doesn't fit that well. So it's probably not gonna be reused. I think I'll grab a Yonaka exhaust after I put the turbo on. Also the silencer broke on it. So it's just really straight through. You'll also notice the car is lowered. I got some really cheap China lowering springs. And that's probably what progressed to kill the stock suspension so quickly. You'll notice the wheel gap here on the passenger side. Check the wheel gap here on the driver's side. It's like at least an inch lower over here. So that's jacking up my fender. It self rolled basically, which is terrible because I want to keep this panel. There's a quick overview of the Riggs Garage EG Civic Hatchback. I really like these little cars. Um, some people don't understand why others like the things they do, but uh, I like pretty much anything that's fast. This car is truly a go-kart, and I'm excited to put quality components on it and make it really zip. Thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button below. I appreciate everybody watching, and I look forward to digging into this project. Thank you.